Welcome to the 12th Yasunsen Cup International Yacht Race, hosted by Gyeong Sangnamdu and Cheongyung City. The event, which is dedicated to the unbeaten Admiral Yasunsen, is sponsored by Korea Sailing Federation, Gyeong Sangnamdu Sports Council, and Tongyong Coast Guard. JCBA是世界上国际国际游泳的会员，世界有名的选手们参加的阿西亚的代表们，阿西亚的代表们，阿西亚的代表们，阿西亚的代表们，阿西亚的代表们，阿西亚的代表们，阿西亚的代表们，
Last year's champions, Vikra, had the perfect start to the event, taking victory in these tricky conditions. Yeah. The second day of the Cup started with great expectations. Under clear blue skies, the teams were at the dock ready to hit the water for the inshore races. Consistent winds of four to five knots saw plenty of close battles with the boats fighting hard to get an advantage at the start line. Frustratingly, the wind speed then dropped completely. So the race committee were forced to abandon the day's action. The final day of the regatta looked promising as the boats headed out onto the race course. However, the winds didn't arrive as expected and stayed around three to five knots. The ORC1 class raced in these conditions and Vikra managed to win, giving her the overall class title for a second consecutive year. The boat first couldn't quite live up to its name and finished second again, whilst Podium finished in third. There was no racing in the ORC2 class, so Rate was crowned the winner, leaving Decision in second and Team Thailand in third. 작년에 이어서 또 올해 또 열심히 한 결과 또 이렇게 2연패를 또 하게 돼서 뭐 개인적으로 정말 기쁘고요. 그리고 또 우리 크루들 너무 또 오늘 고생 많이 했고 오늘 또좀 바람이 좀 라이트 윈드라 좀 약한 바람이 좀 하다 보니까 조금 서로들 굉장히 좀 조심스러우면서도 굉장히 좀 신경을 많이 썼던 그런 게임이었던 것 같아요. 그래서 좀더 이제 더 분발해서 내년에는 3연패를 할수 있도록 또 노력을 하겠습니다. But second place it's not first place. I want to first place. But the weather condition today it's no wind and uh, for my boat it's no good because uh, my boat have uh, the weight more more big weight and uh, I need a little bit more wind. It's happy, yeah, yeah, really happy because uh, the Vikira is a real, uh, real concurrent for my boat. Following the celebrations, the sailors headed to the closing ceremony where this year's winners were crowned. The athletes all enjoyed their stay in Tongyong and vowed to return once again for the Cup in 2019.